Hello, my friends. How are you doing today? I want to take a look back at um, the Google Classroom. And the reason I'm doing this is a couple things. One, I, we've received some good questions on some different things. Um, I wanted to share something just from my parents' side of things. And I had a wonderful conversation with um, just a fantastic educator who just wasn't aware of what parents see from the parent side of things when using Google Classroom. So this is one of my daughter's um, Google Classroom notifications. This is what I get as a parent. And what you're going to see here is that I get the subject, whatever the Google class is called, in this case social studies, I get the name of the assignment that you put in when you create an assignment in Google Classroom, and I get whatever you put in the instructions. What I don't receive is I don't have access as a parent to the links, to rubrics, to anything that's hyperlinked or clickable. I don't have access to that, only this. And so you can see here as we go through these, these different notes, all I get is a run through of what you put in the instruction. And a lot of educators just maybe may not be aware of that because they're not seeing this or using this from a, a parent side of things. So one of the tips that I'm going to be creating, and you're looking at the assignment that I'm going to be posting to you here in just a little bit, is that I learned this idea from um, Alice Keeler where you create what she calls the parent corner. Now I call it a parent partnership, especially during these times of remote teaching and learning. We know not only are our kids burning out, but our parents are burning out. They don't know what to do. So here's, a, I think, a really powerful way. Um, the more I think about this, I think about my conversation this weekend with, 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 with the educator, is how do we create the conditions in this so that when parents receive the notifications, they have something to work with? Now, I know the, the, the obvious answer is, well, parents should just sit down with their kid, have them open up their device, open up their, their own account, and then as a parent, I can go through and click and, and see all the work from the student's portal. But I'm telling you, as a parent, as an educator, with my kids who are older, it also sometimes feels like a bit of, of mistrust. And so I don't necessarily want to do that. I don't want to like force my kids to sit and make them think like I don't believe that they're doing the work, um, even though I know that that is a, an avenue that, that I can go with. And more importantly, it just doesn't happen as much as we can just say it. Um, think about your own self from a, a parent lens. So here's a really cool, quick way. I call it parent partnership. You can call it whatever you want. And so if we look up here, this is the name of the assignment, just like we saw the parents are going to receive. And you can do all whatever you want to do off to the side and the instructions. But when you're done with the instructions, you hit enter a few times, like I've done here. And I'm calling it parent partnership. And I'm going to post three questions, in this case for this Assignment, I'm going to have you build a Lego model of an animal with wings. I know it's so awesome. Um, and I just gave some questions that a parent could ask their child. You know, how do you think birds fly? Are there animals besides birds that can fly? And if you could fly, where would you go? These conversation starters. Now, if I have more explicit content, I could be more deliberate here. And then just like we talk about up here in, in the, the notes about this assignment, if a kid can't answer those questions, now I'm building a partnership with the parents. They could reach out to me and be like, hey, I was talking to my kid. You know, They have no idea what wings are. I could then provide some further supportive resources. You know, Maybe in here I could link in um, you know, a video or a cartoon. Now this is more geared maybe elementary, um, some diagrams, my notes, whatever it might be. I could then start to do that. But what I'm doing is I'm empowering the parent to give them things to talk about. Um, things for them to have conversations around their kid, which is really important. I think parents just don't even know what to do or how to begin some of this stuff because the content is, is not in their, their comfort zone. It builds a relation where it tells you as an educator to the parent, hey, we are in this together. So let's, let's do this collectively as a team. Um, and it just helps, I think, the, the communication. So when a parent does get the, the daily summary, I'm like, oh, I now have something I, I, I could be looking for specifically. Because after a while, those things get really long, and a parent may not read through it all. But if I know that there's a parent partnership piece in there, it might just be what I need. So I think this is something that is, is truly helpful. One, if you're just not aware of what the parents see, now you know. Um, number two, um, this little concept, I would love to hear your ideas. Like, how, how could you use this in your current landscape 
as you're trying to do this, which is about teaching and learning. And also just beyond when we get back to hopefully normal teaching where we might have to have some online and face-to-face -face stuff. How could something like this continue to be of value? I would love to hear from you. So um, for this particular um, assignment, I would like for you to let's let just do it. Uh, open it up, take a look at it, build the Lego bottle. I'm gonna have a link in there for you to submit the build. But I also would love to hear from you about how you could use the parent partnership. So uh, leave me a comment, um, whatever that might be, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, my friends. I hope you found it helpful. Stay awesome. Keep doing what you do, and uh, we got this one day at a time. Peace.